Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and in this video, I want to go over how to change the pool your Chia plots are farming on. It's very simple and it's very easy, but additionally, I want to go over a couple of key points throughout this video, so please stick with me. First off, there's only really three pools that I trust, right? We already know H pool is centralized in Asia. I don't really trust mining on that pool. But the other pools that I do trust because I've been able to communicate with them, I've been collabing with the Discord, I've been talking to individuals, um, is Core Pool, Space Pool, and now Flex Pool. Flex Pool just announced that they are uh, that they launched their pool. They had a beta test, just like all these pools did, and they officially launched. And I want to show you how to connect that really quickly. Core Pool does charge two percent, from my understanding, um, or a fee of two percent. While Space Pool right now is still at 0%, but it eventually will go up to 1%. And then Flex Pool is also at 1%. But Space Pool has been doing me pretty good. And what I mean by that is I've been getting regular payments uh, and, and all my plot points are syncing up. Everything's reported. Everything's connected really good. So Alex, um, or excuse me, uh, Sean and the team over at Coin Breakthrough. Um, Space Pool has been doing a good job. Now, Alex and Chris, I've been communicating with a lot because of Ethereum, and now I want to check out their Chia side of things. So to connect, it's simple. They do have a new guide or a new farmer guide and an already farmer guide, but here are the pools or the servers that you can connect to. In Germany, in the US, in Singapore, I'm not sure if they're going to open up more, but you always want to choose whatever's closest to you. For the new farmer, I will have a video that I, uh, that I previously recorded, linked down below to help you guys out. But it's a very easy way to get set up, especially if you're using a Mad Max plotter. But simply put, you're going to go to your wallet and you're going to click add a plot NFT or a new one. And then here, you're going to want to choose connect to pool and then you need to put the pool address in there. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab that right now. And I'm not going to go completely through it, but let me just show you something. If I hit create, all that's going to do, and you can actually see it says keep an eye on this fee number right here, 0.01. But if I hit create, all it's going to do is create a singleton or a NFT uh, pool contract that looks like this. So it's going to look just like this. I may have another box right here. That's all it is. To change what you already have, though, I click change pool. And now if you look at the fee again, so now this is space pool. The fee says zero, which is in line with what they have on their website. And if I change it, watch what it says. 0.001. So I'm not sure how the fee structures work and why the website will say, like on Flexpool, one part of the website I think said 0.05 and the other one said 1%. So I don't know, but it's not much and it's less than Core Pool. Nothing against Core Pool. I love them. They do great things. So if I put this information in and I put this address in and hit change, that's going to allow me to change the pool that I am farming utilizing or that is utilizing my plots. The thing is, is that all of these plot points will change. All of these plot points will zero out and I will start from scratch and I have to build back up. You can see what I currently have right now. And honestly, I don't want to change at this very second only because I'm so close to a payout. I've been earning with Space Pool at only, I think I only have like 60 something gigabytes or terabytes, excuse me. Yeah, so 61 terabytes is all I have. So I'm very small. Um, and I've been averaging anywhere between 0.003 to 0 0.0025 Chia a day. Of course, it changed up here. It really depends on the blocks. But this pool has been finding blocks regularly because it has grown substantially. If we go to their main website, we were ecstatic about getting close to 100 petty bytes, and now we're going close to 300 petty bytes. This is amazing. The growth of this group and channel has, has, has been extraordinary. Now, Core Pool do plan on releasing uh, their information or their guide on pullable plots as well, but right now uh, It's just Solo right and it says right here you can farm here only with non nft plots So keep an eye on their information their discord. They'll be coming out with a uh, a way to cook uh, to connect to their pullable plots. Sorry I can't talk there, but it's very simple to switch so if you want to go from space pool to flex pool and then back to core pool or whatever you can easily do that you just need the pool address which they will provide to you hit change you're good to go that will reset your your statistics but no big deal all your plots are still there you don't have to replot you don't have to kill your drives or in the endurance of your ssds or anything like that 
and I'm so happy that they finally came out with this because the amount of plots uh, that I have has been primarily built up over time and it is eating into my consumer grade SSDs, which is why I changed to an enterprise level NVMe SSD, the Micron 7300 Pro, which can do 4.2 petabytes in its life cycle. So I'm not worried about killing my drives because I'm using that one thing. And to plot with Mad Max, it's very simple. I know in my previous video, I went the long way around, but all you need is two things. You need the farmer key, which I showed you how to get previously. Check out that video. And then you need your contract address. And the contract address, when you mouse, when you actually create your NFT, is actually right behind the question mark. You click copy, and then you're good to go. When you go into Mad Max, though, you will need to actually change a command line parameter from dash P to dash C. And let me show you that real quick right now. So here is dash N, the number of plots you wanna create, the number of threads you wanna use, and it's physical cores, guys, it's not threads. So if I have a 12 core 24 thread, I don't wanna put 24 here, I wanna put 12, just my recommendation then leave dash u alone that's number of buckets dash t is your temporary drive dash d is your final drive so your final location and you're going to replace this this is the most important part with mad max and singleton or uh, pullable plots you changing dash p which is the pool public key to dash c which is your contract key and then you would copy what i said here if you come over to this question mark copy that that is what you're going to put here as far as the farmer key, again, I showed you how to do that in my two previous videos. Um, I'll have one of them linked down below and then you just replace the, uh, the farmer key or the word farmer key with your actual key and that is it. Very simple. And you can continue just plotting away and easily change pools. It makes life so much more convenient. Again, I, I'm not familiar or I don't really trust the H pool. I did test it out. I did do a video on it. I just don't trust it. You may like it. Great. I'm happy for you. But the pools that I am trustworthy of is core pool, uh, space pool, and flex pool. Now, I don't, I haven't seen, and I could be wrong, I haven't seen the Chia core team give their seal of approval because there's no official Chia pool yet, um, or I don't think there will be, but they, I, I'm waiting for their seal of approval. Right now, I can tell you that space pool and everybody that follows the guidelines of uh, pullable plots, uh, NFT pools, and stuff like that or nft plots is going to be under the good graces of chia but uh whether or not they're going to give their seal of approval is yet to be determined but those are the three pools that i would trust and space pool has servers in the us eu asia flex pool uh in the us germany and singapore so it's going to be up to you but it's very simple to change it out so enough of me ranting thank you so much for watching please do me a favor guys on the way out hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell, as well as check out some of the links down below that help support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, like to dojor.com where you can get some sweet crypto merchandise from much of the crypto community and content creators. And you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.